Here at station one, Jesus is condemned to die. But who's to blame? We all blame people for something. At this station, we invite you to start the journey through the Stations of the Cross. Hi everyone, my name is Marcia, and I'm a deacon here at Storis Congregational Church. I'm at Station 2 of the Cross, when Jesus picked up his cross and carried it. On the table, we have many different representations of crosses, and our hope is that you'll reflect about the crosses or the burdens that you may have carried at different times in your life. And I would ask you, and I hope you will ask yourself, have you reached out for help at those times? Because there is always help for each of us in many different ways. We also will invite you to take a cross with you. There are crosses here that were made in Bethlehem, some that were made from wood from the recent storms, and just at various representations of crosses. And I hope that the entire experience with the Stations of the Cross will be meaningful to you. At Station 3, we have when Jesus falls for the first time. He stumbles on a rock or a stone. We all stumble from time to time. Maybe it's from an illness or aging um, or any other kind of crisis. And we need inspiration. At this station, we invite you to find your word of inspiration. This is Station of the Cross number four. Jesus meets his mother Mary as he journeys toward his death. We invite you to read these prayers and reflections and to ask yourself where you might feel the love, care, and concern of Christ in your life. We do offer some sweet tart lollipops because as Jesus' mother, as Jesus' mother, Mary certainly felt both the bitter and the sweet. Station five, Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. May we bring this spirit of burden sharing into our interactions with others to help alleviate the suffering of the world. Here at Stores Congregational Church, our outreach ministries and caring ministries help to feed hungry people, give rides to those are, who are in need. We help the refugees in the Quiet Corner Refugee sell, Settlement, as well as offer help for those who are having mental health concerns. So what crosses are you asked to carry for others? May we bring this spirit here at this station. This is station number six, where Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. I love this station because it really shows us the courage and the love that Veronica had for Jesus as he passed by, burdened by this very heavy wooden cross. And she didn't care what anyone thought. She immediately left the crowd and went to Jesus and wiped his face, his tears, his blood with her cloth. And the face of Jesus 
was imprinted upon her veil. Station seven, Jesus falls a second time. Jesus stretched to a breaking point under the weight of the cross, worn out and abandoned by his friends, stumbles again on his way to Golgotha. At this station, we invite you to reflect upon what hurts you have experienced both physically and emotionally, that leave you more vulnerable to even more hurt. At this station, we have candles for lighting and a prayer to lift up. This is station number eight, where Jesus speaks to the woman of Jerusalem. And our reflection here is the woman of Jerusalem wept when they saw the suffering of Jesus. So at this station, we invite you to take a packet of these tissues and we have a prayer for you that you may reflect upon during this Holy Week. Station number nine, Jesus falls for the third time. This is the beginning of Jesus's agony of death. Lying on the ground, he decides whether to stop or to get up again. We see him rise and continue the journey under his own power. He shows us that this is possible. In Jesus, we find hope and encouragement to rise again. He is with us and he is our strength. At this station, you will be asked several reflection questions and invited to silently say, Lord, I pray that when my strength fails, when my hope fades and when my spirit grows weary, that I will put my trust solely in you. In turn, may I bring your love in word or action to others in their moment of meaninglessness, depression, or despair. And you're invited to take a prayer card with this prayer as well. I'm Jamie, and this is Station 10 of the Stations of the Cross. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We've all been stripped of things this past year, whether it be jobs, income, family members. This is particularly meaningful to me as I came to this station. And Jesus' garments were stripped from him. This is station number 11, where Jesus was nailed to the cross. So many people in our world today are suffering as Jesus did. They may be marginalized, belittled, bullied, mocked for whatever reason. And so at this station, we have a prayer wall and we ask you to write any prayer upon your heart where you feel that you want to pray for any victims of injustice or any adults, any children, the elderly, anyone who cannot defend themselves to be in this spirit with Jesus upon the cross. Station number 12, Jesus dies upon this cross. 
but can anyone know what they've accidentally done wrong? Clear me of any unknown sin and save your servant from willful sins. Don't let them rule me. We must forgive each other for the hurt, for the harm we may have done to one another. I'm standing in front of station number 13, which happens to be my favorite station. It is called Jesus is Taken Down from the Cross, and the reflection is about the woman who stayed. After everyone left Jesus on the cross after he had died, Mary, his mother, stayed, and his most beloved disciple, Mary Magdalene, who was known as the Apostle of the Apostles also stayed and they were the woman who anointed Jesus with with oils before he was wrapped in the tomb in the linen cloth so this happens to be my favorite and I'll be anxious to hear about what your favorite station is thank you so much This is our final station, station number 14, where Jesus is laid in the tomb. Joseph asked for the body of Jesus from the cross, and he very carefully anointed Jesus along with Mary, his mother, and Mary Magdalene in myrrh and aloe, beautiful ointments, and wrapped Jesus in a clean linen cloth gently laid Jesus in the tomb that Ju Joseph had carved out and then rolled a rock in front of the tomb. There's a cotton ball and the fragrance. We invite you to take this fragrance with you today to be reminded that you are indeed God's beloved. We are the aroma of Christ. 2 Corinthians 2, 14. 